Hey, what is up everyone? Nikki Kanjin here. And today we are going to look at how to eat ramen the right way. And so what better way to learn than to actually go to one of my favorite ramen places. All right, so let's go. But first, if you love ramen, then please smash that like button for the sushi gods of YouTube. And honestly, there are so many delicious things, but definitely the best thing, in my opinion, is the Negi Ramen. And it's really super simple, really nice, and it's delicious. Alright, so now let's go ahead and get it. Alright, so I just like to try some delicious ramen right here. And there's a couple things you have to remember when you're eating ramen. First is slurping is okay, actually, it is expected. So let's try this beautiful ramen. Mm. The noodles are really nice and soft, but not soggy. Really nice texture and flavor to the taste as well because this is a miso based soup it is a little soaky but really fantastic very very delicious now what's really interesting is that for the most part the proper way of eating ramen stick some broth first good four or five strands of noodles lift it up just quickly dip it in the broth then slip it. And contrary to popular belief, slurping isn't necessarily um, slurping doesn't necessarily mean that it's a compliment to the chef. What it really is used for is to cool down the noodles when you're eating, so you can eat them faster and so they're not as hot in your mouth. So there are actually four main types of ramen. There's shoyu ramen which is soy sauce, shio ramen which is salt, miso ramen which is miso, and tonkotsu ramen which is pork bone. Personally, I love miso and tonkotsu the best. If you have a chance, definitely try it out. And also, let me know in the comment section down below what kind of ramen you like the best. Finally, if you finish all your ramen, but there's still some broth left, don't worry, that's completely normal. Like, even most Japanese people, um, the broth is really rich, so they'll tend not to finish it all just by itself. Instead, what they might do is they might actually ask for another small set of ramen so that the ramen can actually soak um, the remaining broth in, and you can enjoy it that way. And honestly, that really hit the spot especially on a rainy and kind of cool day like today ramen is a really nice dish to have for lunch and so if you're ever in the shizoka area i recommend trying hokkaido noodle denmaru it's a great restaurant and the great thing about it is that you can actually get extra noodles for free so if you're ever in the shizoka area i definitely recommend you to try it all right, so let me know in the comment section down below what kind of ramen you like the best. And until next time, everyone, stay waku waku.